Good Sunday morning, everyone. How is everyone doing on today? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. First, I want to thank the Lord for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way, and giving me one more chance to say yes to his will and yes to his ways. Amen. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Today's verse of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 12 and 25, and it uh, reads that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care for one another. And where whether one member suffer, all members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all members rejoice with it. Now ye are the body of Christ and the members in particular. Amen. And what I get out of this verse today is that we're all a one body. All are one, one body. Amen. Uh, and also what I'm getting out of it is when a man and a woman come together, they become one, right? That means when one is sick, the other is sick. Amen. When one is feeling down and just ain't feeling happy, the other should feel the same way. Amen. Saints of God, we have to be sensitive to one another's needs. Whenever somebody's down and sick, not feeling well, like I was, you should have someone that cares for you while you're sick. Someone that looks after you. Someone that's going to be sensitive to your needs just as you are to them. Amen. That way, we can comfort one another when one of us is going through and when one of us is feeling it. You want to be in a relationship or marriage where the both of you guys are going to work together and comfort one another. Rejoice together because we are the body of Christ. We are in the body of of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we have to work together with one another regardless of what one has done, what one may have said, how you feel about this one or how you feel about that one. We still, as the body of Christ, must look after one another. Even if it's someone that you're friends with and you haven't seen in a while, you know what I'm saying? Do a checkup on that brother or sister and say, hey, how you doing? Haven't heard from you in a while. Just want to just want to check in to see how you're doing. And, and there's nothing wrong with talking for a little while. Amen. Communicate with that brother. Let that brother know that you care, that you're thinking about him. Because as Christ, amen, care for us. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to care for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Yeah, we got to have that kind of same mentality that Christ had for us. To care for one of our brothers and sisters. Amen. And when we see a brother suffering, we got to reach out and we got to help that brother as children of God. Amen. Don't be like some out there that just see you and act like you don't exist. Don't do that now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no, God won't, won't be pleased with that. <laughs> so uh, remember what this word is talking about today. Is have the same care, the same care that you have for your loved ones, for your friends. Have that same care for somebody that's out there. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, God looks at your heart. Amen. He looks at your mind. 
what you be thinking up here. So let everything that you do for one another be out of love, out of the sincere heart that God has given us. Amen. May there be a blessing to the word on today. We thank God for this message that was brought forth. And I hope this message touches somebody's heart today. And may God bless you. Peace be with you always. And may your day be blessed.